This decision that's been coming for a while. Athletes can benefit from their likeness. Now it's very vague in the announcement, so we don't have all the details yet. All we know is the NCAA Board of Governors voted to allow athletes to quote benefit from their likeness and in the NCAA is directing its schools to quote consider updates to relevant bylaws and policies of the 21st century. There's been a lot of excitement on social media. that This could bring back the college football video game that was scrapped by EA Sports for using unpaid players likenesses. But what's this mean for the lesser sports? What's this mean for women's sports title nine and how will resources be spread out? Questions still to be answered. It was the talk of the Cardinal locker room over there today. We were there and also on campus at ASU as the NCAA ASU other colleges try to sort out exactly what this means. Yeah, this is a subject that's been in the air for a long time. Um, I think once it gets settled to what they want to do, um, then I can comment on it. It evolves, man. We evolve as a society. It just, it's part of it. And if you don't, if you don't do that, then you're hurting the game. I feel like that law is going to service less than 1% of college student athletes that are really going to get paid for yeah. their likeness and image and autograph and things like that. And it's a very slippery slope and some very intended or unintended consequences definitely could be that money that people would normally give to a college athletic department, they're giving directly to those superstar athletes. Yeah, lots to sort out. You can hear the Sun Devil Women's Basketball Coach's comments right now on our website, acfamily.com, a conversation with Brad Denny on Speak of the Devil's podcast. Charlie's set to start her own podcast to discuss such issues shortly and a lot of enthusiasm about this for football players, but you hear Charlie Turner Thorne's comments, less than 1%. I, I guess I'm guessing here, I'm going to just guarantee this ends up back in court as they try to sort out exactly how to do this. I also wonder what's the fine print, like right. at what point do you start once someone signed a letter of intent right. with a college and are you paying then high school athletes yeah. for collegiate likeness? Right. I mean, it could get, it could like get autograph really, lines around the block, could get really messy. And you think so. about how much gets donated to schools and how the other sports you know, are able to, to meet their budgets because of that. So and, this and is maintaining that franchise, right? right? Okay, yep. so yep. we'll see what happens with this. Mark, thank you.